Hi everyone and welcome to this video on how to install applications using the one click installer. So to start we need to log into our Fasthost control panel. So go to fasthost.co.uk and go to the login area and then from there you want the control panel login. And then just log in using your usual username and password. So from here we need to browse to the package you want to install an application on. So click website hosting and this is just going to list all of your packages you've got in your account and I'm going to install something on fasthostwebinars.com. So from here we've got our package overview and we're going to look for the one click installer tile here and you go to configure applications and that's just going to open up in a new tab there and here we can see all of the applications that are available for install using the one click installer. So there's some obvious popular ones, we've got WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, all of those sorts of ones but there's a few others as well. So what we'll do is we'll install uh, we'll go with WordPress but generally speaking all of the options are the same so if, I'll just quickly show you that actually if you go into WordPress it gives you a bit of an overview and install this application and if we look at another one uh, let's go with uh, I don't know vanilla forums there and you've got that same sort of thing install this application and if you go through we're pretty much going to have some very similar options here so that's what the install screen looks like there and if we go back to the WordPress one install this application We've got again some really, really similar options here. Okay, there are, will be a few sort of subtle differences, but generally speaking, all the settings are going to be the same. So, location uh, that's going to be where you want the web files to be installed. So, we want them in fastestwebinars.com as the main website. But if you wanted to install like a separate blog, or for example, uh, wanted to just test out an application, you could put it in a separate directory. So, if we put blog there, you can see oh, it helps if I spell blog right. You can see that we've been installing it in fastestwebinars.com forward slash blog, so it wouldn't touch any of the files in the root of the website. But we'll install it as our main website. Version, there's always going to be a recommended version, which is the best one to use, unless you have a particular version to use a different one. And then the language, whatever language you want to install it in as well. There's usually going to be some kind of EULA to agree to as well. So if you click the link there, it's going to display that one. And you've got to just accept the license agreement. That won't be for all of them. And again, it will be slightly different for all of them. So it's worth just checking it out. Then you've got the settings. Again, it's going to be all pretty self-explanatory. So you've got the administrator username and password password which is going to be what you use to log into the site in the administrator area and if you click show password there or hold it down it's going to show you the password so if we click that it'll give it there they're not usually very memorable so uh, it's either a good good idea to note it down in something like key pass or something like that or use your you can enter your own one as well so if it's not very memorable enter one that you you're going to remember so and also if we click generate there it's going to generate a new password too and it'll always be strong administrator email is always going to be where the emails from your website go so by default it will just be your uh, the email address you've got set up on your account and then you've got the usual ones like titles and things like that usually you can set them up uh, you can usually change those once you've actually installed the application so this will these few options here are specific to WordPress so we've got things like two-factor authentication, limit login attempts and enable multi-site. Again there might be subtle differences between the different applications um, where you've got a few different options here as well. Now we've got this advanced section and automatically manage these advanced settings for me is going to be the default and it's the best way to do it if, unless you really know what you're doing. If you do know what you're doing or you've got a database that you want to use or anything like that, if you click let me let me manage these settings you get a few more options. So things like the database management, you can choose your existing database and enter all the details in there but again if you don't just choose automatically create a new database and we'll handle all that for you and the email notifications you can usually choose which notifications you're going to receive from your website so for like WordPress you've got all of these sorts of options here and that's all there is to it so then when we click install that's going to install and I'm just going to quickly pause the video as that's installing because it normally takes just a couple of minutes Okay, that's finished installing now. So when it's finished installing, you're going to get some information about whatever you've just installed. So here we can see my URL, where I can log into my admin area, and sort of where you can get some extra support. And also we've got the options to sort of view and edit some details if we want to, so you can change your admin username and password and things through that. If you ever want to get back to this screen, 
uh, when you come when you go through your uh, hosting package from the package overview into the one click installer we've got this new tab here this is my applications and that's where you can go and access these details again so like I say if you ever need to change passwords or anything you can always do it through there and that's all there is to it once you've installed the application on your website you can start using it thanks very much for watching goodbye for now